Good afternoon. May I have your attention? As principal of King Philip Regional High School, I now declare the commencement exercises for the class of 2023 open. Welcome, families. We will ask you to stand again for the national anthem sung by the King Philip Chorus senior members. Senior members, please make your way to the stage. You may. standing. Thank you, members of our chorus. I'd like to now call Ahuna James, President of the Student Council, to present the Pledge of Allegiance. Our flag is in the rear. Ahuna, please come to the stage. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. You may be seated. Please enjoy the playing of America the Beautiful by the King Philip Regional High School Band.
Music seniors, please rejoin your class. Let's give our music seniors a round of applause for their talents. Good afternoon, and welcome to the commencement exercises for the King Philip Regional High School Class of 2023. I would like to recognize a few individuals and groups that ensured that we got here today and that the road to commencement was paved with new opportunities. I would like to thank Mr. Zinni, our superintendent, Dr. Susan Gilson, our assistant superintendent, Representative Marcus Vaughn, members of the school committee, Mr. Lehan, our school committee chair, Mr. Bruce Cates, Mr. Greg Weimer, Mr. Eric Harmon, Ms. Erin Greeny, and Mr. Joe Cronin. Thank you very much. Your presence here for our graduates is deeply appreciated. And at this time, I would like to introduce our superintendent, Mr. Zinni, who will provide the introduction for our welcome speaker. Mr. Zinni, please. Welcome to our honored guests, and more importantly, welcome to the class of 2023. You did it. Congratulations. As I'm sure our seniors know, when our government was formed, the responsibility of education was dictated to the states, and even more so, to the local municipalities. Here at King Philip, we're made up of three communities, Norfolk, Plainville, Rentham, and governed by a school committee, a group of individuals who have dedicated their time to the assistance of our district to help in its running. We're fortunate to have three members from each of those communities who come each, every two weeks, to work as a community, as a, co a committee, to support our students and the education that we provide. We are very, very fortunate that these people are as dedicated as they are. They have done a phenomenal job of leading the district in the five years that I've been here. They've worked to us through a global pandemic, and they've continued to oversee the district so that our, continu our students continue to thrive and their education is strong. It is my pleasure and privilege to introduce to you this year's chair of the King Philip School Committee, Mr. James Lehan, who will present to you the opening address. Thank you, Superintendent Zinni. And I want to wish you Godspeed in your retirement. Your five years of dedication to King Philip have left us in an incredibly positive state. We are grateful for all you've done for KP. Thank you. <laughs> Honored guests and faculty members, proud parents, and the remarkable graduating class of 2023. Welcome to this momentous occasion. On behalf of the King Philip School Committee, it is my great honor to stand before you today to celebrate the achievements, the growth, and the great promise of this remarkable group of graduates. First and foremost, to you, the class of 2023, this is a significant milestone, a culmination of years of hard work and perseverance. Each of you have shown incredible determination and a thirst for knowledge and we are immensely proud of what you've accomplished. In just a few hours, you will no longer be KP students, you will be KP alumni. 
To the parents, guardians, families, we extend our deepest gratitude. Your unwavering support, sacrifice, and love have played an integral role in shaping their success. Today, we celebrate you as well. To the exceptional faculty members, administrators, support staff, thank you for your commitment. You have not only imparted knowledge, but you've also nurtured the minds and the hearts of our graduates. Your guidance, mentorship, and dedication have undoubtedly left a lasting impact on these students. As a school committee, we've had the privilege of witnessing the growth and transition of this class. You've faced many, many challenges during your four years, but you've met them all head on. You've overcome obstacles. You've emerged stronger and more resilient. You've not only excelled in academics, but you have also demonstrated remarkable leadership and creativity and a passion for community service. But now your journey begins. Whether it is on to college, the trades, military, workforce, or just taking some time to figure this mess all out, your journey arrives with endless possibilities, limited only by your own willingness to explore, challenge, and what has been, see what can be. The future is vast and brimming with opportunity. It's up to you to shape your own destinies, to see these opportunities, and to carve out your own path. You've been given the foundation here at KP. Your family, your teachers, your friends, they've done their best to prepare you. But the world you are about to enter is constantly evolving, driven by advancements in technology and global influence. It is a world that will demand the very best of you. It will demand innovation, adaptability, and a willingness to embrace change. Each of you is unique. You have your own dreams, aspirations, and passions. Your road ahead will not always be smooth. You will face obstacles, you will face setbacks, and you will have moments of doubt. It is during these times that your resilience and determination and perseverance will be tested. Life is not always fair. You will face challenges along this journey, you will experience success, and you will experience failure. Failure should not be feared or avoided. It is part of the learning process. Embrace it, welcome it, it will strengthen your resolve. Failure is not a sign of defeat, but an invitation to grow. Believe in yourself, have faith in your abilities, and never shy away from taking risks. Failure is a reminder that we are all human. We are not perfect. Some of the most successful people in the world have more stories of failures than you can possibly imagine. They have stumbled, fallen, and failed spectacularly, yet they learn to laugh at those missteps and use them as stepping stones to greatness. An unknown, an unknown author said the following, do not let the pessimists make you believe that they have a corner on the truth. They would rather stand on the sidelines than risk the chance of failure. It is the adult in us, not the child, that when knocked down rises up again and says, tomorrow I will win. You are the leaders of tomorrow. You are the architects of change and progress and innovation. You possess the power to shape the future. We encourage you to embrace those passions, follow your dreams, and always strive for excellence. But with great power comes great responsibility. I implore you to be compassionate, empathetic, and mindful of the world around you. Seek to understand, embrace diversity, respect everyone, stand up for justice, be willing to listen, not just to speak. Collective wisdom always outweighs individual wisdom. Success is not measured solely by personal achievements, but the positive impact you will have on others. You will touch thousands of lives on your journey. Do not underestimate the impact you will have on those lives. So as you move forward, remember the lessons that you've learned during your years here at King Philip. The friendships forged, the challenges overcome, the knowledge gained. Cherish these memories, for they provide the foundation for your future. In closing, on behalf of the school committee, I extend my heartfelt thanks and congratulations to the class of 2023. We believe in your potential. We believe in your dreams. We believe in your ability to make a difference. 
So as you step into this world, may your journey be filled with endless opportunities, joy, and fulfillment. Congratulations again. May your future be as bright as the promise you hold within. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lehan, for that inspiring message. The class of 2023 has been led by four inspirational leaders whom at this time I would like to recognize. So please stand as I call your name. Gavin Croak, President. Colin Peck, Vice President. Troy Breen, Secretary. Richard Gennetti, Treasurer. And their advisors, Mrs. Haynes and Mrs. Logan. Thank you. You may be seated. I would also like to recognize the top 10 seniors of the class of 2023. Please stand when I call your name. Kevin Smith. Aliyah Seamus. Kari Calderoni. Charlotte Griffin. Rade Patel. Maxwell Miller. Ella McDonald. Gavin Croak. Your salutatarian, Melissa Cannon. And your valedictorian, Aidan Durfla Murphy. Congratulations for your hard work. Thank you. King Philip students have a unique opportunity to participate in several notable programs. The Honors Academy is a program where students must participate in a specific number of honors and AP courses. They must commit to submitting community service hours and participate in KP activities at a very high level. It is very challenging to complete this program. The second program that was developed was developed to recognize students who have a passion and have an idea that they want to pursue. The Graduation with Distinction program requires that students identify a research project that fills a knowledge gap. They conduct background literature reviews and submit a proposal. They are assigned an advisor to work with and the proposal must first be approved by the advisor and then by me. The best thing about this program is that you don't need a specific GPA or a course path. You just need an idea. We would like to acknowledge these fantastic scholars. So please stand when I call your name and remain standing until all the Honors Academy and Distinction students are recognized. Recognized for participation in the Honors Academy, Ian O'Neill, Nora Jackson, Ella McDonnell, Charlotte Raymond, Samantha Sweetman. Recognition of students graduating with distinction in liberal arts, Haley Bean, Helena Beckela, Troy Breen, Matthew Kelly, Elizabeth Lewis, Bridget Nally, Distinction in STEM, Allison Boy, Emily Campbell, Jason Ganadas, Jackson Holm, Radhe Patel, Colin Peck, and Aliyah Shamas. Thank you very much. Congratulations, seniors. At this time in our program, we always take a moment to recognize those students who are contracted under an ROTC program or, or who are attending a U.S. Service Academy next year. Please stand as I call your name and remain standing until everyone else is recognized. William Astorino, 
ROTC, U.S. Army, attending Tufts University. Michael Murphy, ROTC, U.S. Army, attending James Madison University. Maxwell Miller, attending the U.S. Coast Guard Academy. And Richard Gennetti, attending the Merchant Marine Academy. Thank you for what you students did at KP, and thank you for what you'll do for our country in the future. I would like to call on Gavin Croak to approach the stage. As president of the class of 2023, he will leave you with a parting message. Hey everyone, hello. Uh, hope, you're, hope you're all having a great day so far. Um, I was having some printer troubles last night, so I had to write this by hand. So if I mess up, it's because I can't read my own handwriting. So just putting that out there. Um, I wanted to start today by saying congratulations to my fellow classmates and to their families uh, for the support that they've given. I know that's not the first time and certainly not the last time you'll hear that today, but it truly is well deserved. Today is a celebration for our hard work and dedication to a goal of almost 15 years, which when put into perspective is truly impressive. Uh, I wanted to give a special thanks today to Caden Henry. Um, he beat me in the class election junior year and then moved to Texas like right after. So <laughs> thank you, Caden. Wouldn't be here without you today. So um, I also wanted to say thank you to all of the administration, staff, and teachers here at KP. I can truly say that I've had an amazing experience with almost all of my teachers. It's evident um, how much they care for their students and their learning almost every day. Lastly, I wanted to say thank you to Mr. Zinni and Dr. Mobley. Um, as this is their last year here at KP. They will be greatly missed by both students and especially the staff. I hear teachers every day rave about the great work that you two do, so thank you for all your time spent here and all the good you've done for our school. Most of you who know me know that I am an optimistic person. I believe I hold this trait partially through nature, but also through practice. Being an optimist can be tiring, unforgiving, and frankly, not always productive. However, I do believe that looking on the bright side leads to a happier and healthier life. One of my teachers here at KP said that when you focus on the good, more good things will happen. And I believe this wholeheartedly. In each of our lives, there will be conflicts, struggles, and failure. But at the same time, you can always find good. And this good, even in the simple pleasures, can give us something to find and latch onto to make our days just a little bit better. I bring this up because I find this philosophy to be perfectly applicable today. Graduating high school can be sad and intimidating, as we are simultaneously opening a door of unknown possibilities while leaving behind childhood memories. However, I challenge all of you today, as we move on into the next stages of our lives, to embody an optimistic mindset. There are very few moments in life where you get to press the reset button, and high school graduation is one of those unique opportunities. After today, we will have a clean slate and a chance to choose our next step. Throughout high school, many of our decisions were made for us, but now moving forward, we have the chance to pursue our passions, goals, and choose who to surround ourselves with to be the best version of ourselves. So I encourage you all of you today to celebrate your achievements while also looking forward optimistically to the new opportunities that tomorrow will bring. Thank you all for listening and congratulations to the class of 2023. Thank you, Gavin, for those words. Now I would like to welcome our salutatorian, Melissa Cannon, to the stage for her words of wisdom for us. and congratulations to my fellow classmates. It is a privilege to be up here on this podium in front of all of you. I'd like to honor one of my inspirations today, my great-grandmother, Betty. As I reflected back, I realized much of what I value in life, I learned from her. 
I think it's safe to say that in her 107 years on this earth, she is way more qualified than me to give you advice. Since according to my parents, I haven't even had a real job yet. Here are the top seven pieces of advice that I think she would have given us in honor of her 107 years. Number one, be resilient. Betty was one of 13 children and outlived them all by over 20 years. Her husband's family walked from Odessa in the Ukraine to Hamburg, Germany to escape anti-Semitism. When she would say not to sweat the small stuff, I listened. We will need to remember that next year as our lives change. But hey, we're, re we're resilient at KP. We survived some crazy stuff just this year, like those nasty bas bathroom floods and that weird trash can fire. <laughs> Number two is have a sense of humor. Betty lived through two pandemics and two world wars, yet always had a smile on her face, no matter what life threw at her. I've had my fair share of funny memories here at KP and thought I would share a few. Watching Madame Mezji try to use slang like drippy correctly and failing miserably. Um, my calculus class nicknaming me the Messiah. But even better was my volleyball coach using the name Melissa instead of Missy and no one having any idea who she was talking to. And the intense fights Miss Kaverian had with Zoom trying to get it to work properly. Number three is the importance of school. As someone who wanted to access higher education and could not afford to during the Great Depression, Betty greatly valued the importance of school, and so do I. So right now, I'd like to sincerely thank all of my teachers. I appreciate your encouragement, advice, and efforts. I gained something, something from each and every one of you. Number four is the importance of family. Betty always told my brothers and I to be good to our parents. Most importantly today, I'd like to say thank you to my parents and my brother for their endless love, my brothers, <laughs> for their endless love and support, and especially to my mom. I'm so happy I was able to give you a much needed break after helping my brothers get through high school. I take great pride that she is not graduating high school a fourth time this year. And number five is to exercise and stay healthy. Betty walked everywhere her whole life and credited this as one of the most important reasons she lived to almost 108 years old. Some of my best memories at KP were doing sports like volleyball, softball, and gymnastics. A standout memory for me was the volleyball team making it to the first state championship in the program's history. Number six is to appreciate friendships. Betty told me on many occasions I was her best friend, which made me feel very loved. To the amazing Olivia, Juliet, and Ava, we may not have connected until high school, but I know I have made lifelong friendships with each of you. Oh, and you're welcome for mentioning you, Juliet. It's not like you begged me to or anything. I'll miss you guys so much next year. Number seven, spread positivity. Betty was very forward thinking for her time and believed people, especially women, should lift each other up. Over the years, many people reacted with shock or disbelief when I told them my class rank, like I am the last person they would expect to be second in the class. Even though it's incredibly hard at times, try not to let others' opinions or judgment tear you down or diminish you. Use it as motivation to succeed. In closing, I always said if I ever ended up here, I would finish my speech with a backflip. Before Dr. Mobley totally panics, due to a terrible knee injury last January, I'm not physically able to. So instead of a backflip, I'd like to remind my two older brothers about a little wager they may have conveniently forgotten about. I don't think they really believed I would be up here, so they bet me 200 bucks. <laughs> so Josh and Connor, it's time to pay up. To the class of 2023, I wish you all the very best in the years to come. Thank you. I have to say, Missy, I think I would have enjoyed the black flip. <laughs> but I'm glad you have some money in your pocket going off to college. I would now like to welcome our valedictorian of the class of 2023, Aidan Durfler Murphy. Please come and share your words with us. Tough acts to follow, but I'll try my best. Good afternoon, friends, family, faculty, and band. 
We are gathered here today for a special occasion, or at least one that we've all been waiting for. I know that I have. I won't take too much of your time, since I know that we're all quite eager to get our diplomas and get out of here. We've got things to do and places to be. I want to share a quote from a book by one of my favorite authors, Chris Colfer. He's written a couple series and a couple standalone books, though he's probably better known as having starred as Kurt Hummel in Glee. This quote comes from his novel, Struck by Lightning. Life comes at you fast. It hits you and tries to escape and be expressed in any way possible. In a way, it's a lot like lightning. This sentiment feels fitting. It seems like just last week we were freshmen trying to navigate life in a big new school, and now we're moving on to things that are bigger and newer still. Some of us are even going to be freshmen again. We've probably been told this for basically forever, but life really does come at you fast. I have a feeling that there are plenty of us here who will never say that high school was the best time of our lives, but that I had moments that were pretty good. Maybe you had a favorite class that you look forward to every day, or maybe you had an extracurricular that was really important to you, or maybe you just enjoyed seeing your friends every time you walked into the building. These are the little things that got us up every morning, especially as time went on and the end was in sight. But along with the things that were a constant presence, there was some unpredictability as well, leading to events that none of us will ever forget, like when the bathrooms flooded twice in one week and when Eva Potts saved us from that trash can fire. Thinking back, there's actually quite a bit of unpredictability during our time at KP. Uh, from global pandemics to teachers being out twice a week on grand jury duty, we took everything that was thrown at us and just kept going despite it all. I mean, hey, we all made it here today. And maybe that's something to remember about KP. We kept going. So yeah, life does come at you fast, but when it hits us, We've learned to bottle that lightning and never let it go. So if you're going to take something away from this experience, just know we got this. Just keep swimming and you'll get to where you need to go. Like I said, we're all heading to new places next year and some of us have no idea what the future may hold. Now it's our turn to come at life at the speed of lightning and give it everything we got. Embrace the unpredictable and expect the unexpected. They'll never know what hit them. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Aiden. We are changing things up a little bit this year. Traditionally, the King Philip Cup is awarded to a senior in recognition of scholarship, leadership, and demonstration of school spirit. The recipient is nominated by student government and the winner is selected by the King Philip administration. We're doing things a little different, like I said, this year. There are two seniors who have amazingly led not only their class, but have led KP to be a better place. Whether it was through spirit or community service, their quiet, unassuming presence in our building really made a difference at KP. So this year, the KP Cup is being awarded to Danny Gresham and Libby Lewis. Thank you so much, Danny and Libby, for all you've done for KP. Give them a round of applause again. They deserve it. It's a big thing. 
Each year, the seniors choose a Teacher of the Year. And I think that we heard in all three speeches the mention of appreciation for our KP staff. They really do go above and beyond each and every day, whether it's through the bathroom flooding or a small fire. The Teacher of the Year recognizes and honors a teacher that makes a difference in the lives of students that they encounter. This year, the class of 2023 has selected Nick, Mr. Nicholas Glavicki as the Teacher of the Year. Nothing more fitting than a birdhouse for Mr. Gobicki. Now I would like to give a welcome to Mr. Lewis, Mr. Abrams, and Ms. Poirier, who will present the, diplo the diplomas to the graduates as they come across the stage. When I did my first graduation in 2013, I insisted on reading all 330 names. Thank God this class is not so big. So I decided this year to go back to old traditions and do my best at reading all your names. I promise I've practiced all weekend. We'll see how we'd go. Folks. Seniors, don't forget to pause down the bottom on the little feet so we can get a nice photo of you. When you're ready, Mr. Lewis, just give me the nod. Gavin Andrew Croak, Colin Thomas Peck, Troy Micah Breen, Richard Paul Janetti III, Ahuna Ogechuku James, Cecilia Saliba, Aiden Elaine Durfler Murphy, Melissa Sarah. Canning, Ella Catherine McDonald, Maxwell Richard Ian Miller, Radhe Hatesh Patel, Charlotte Elizabeth Griffin, Kari Renee Calderoni, Aliyah Lynn Shamas, Kevin Robert Smith, Kyle Robert Abbott, Jared Scott Ali, Olivia Teresa Ali, Ava Isabel Allen, Alexia Andoni, Olivia Marie Andriozzi, Alexander Michael Antonoro, William Patrick Astorino, Emerson Jane Baker, Lauren Kathleen Barrero, Samantha Maeve Beach, Haley Miyashiro Bean, Xavier D. Beauregard, Cassia Nicole Beck, Juan Pablo Bedoya, Helena Demica Beckala, Adam Benretta, Brandon Andrew Berdos. William Patrick Birmingham, Grace Catherine Berry, Matthew Wayne Bixby, Oliver James Blackburn, Sean Hunter Bodenseek, Allison Michelle Boy, James Joseph Boldy, Jacqueline Marie Bonner, 
Jordan Elizabeth Brady. Lauren Murdoch Brady. Thomas Joseph Brewster. Haley Grace Bright. Jean Marie Brown. Caitlin Elizabeth Buban. Andrew Dylan Bobleski. Ashley Paige Buckman. Benson Maxwell Bullock. Joseph Stephen Burke. Leah Marie Burke. Carly Marie Burns. Ella Ray Butler. Emily Rose Campbell. Lauren Olivia Casper. Lorelai Kennedy Casper. Robert William Casper. Erica Reed Sabrowski. Alexandria Elizabeth Cloutier. Sydney Michelle Cloutier. Jason Richard Calentro. Ashley Elizabeth Cook. Matthew Robert Crago. Michael Anthony Craig. Sarah Catherine Cullen. Callie Elizabeth Cummings. Anna Isabella Curley. Flannery Rose Dalton. Erickson Depina De Vega. Rachel Ann DeFlaminis. Colin Michael Durvin. Daniel Anthony Dini. Adriana Marie Disla. Jacqueline Emma Dubois. Lily Ann Dubowski. James Michael Ducey. Joshua Callan Dwinell. Hayden Alexander Emery. Camden Patricia Evans. Haley Rose Eichel. A.K. Michael Ezema Ungu. I.K. David Ezema Ungu. Catherine Rose Fisher, Keegan Williams Minor Fletcher, Michaela Walsh Flood, Maraid Teresa Nora Foley, Caroline Grace Fries, Lily Marie Gallagher, Miles Maximus Gallagher. Luciana Malia Galvez. Candace Jasmine Gately. Ryan Richard Gately. Catherine Elizabeth Gebhard. Nathan Richard Gebhard. Allison Marie Gendrolis. Christian Robert Gazzoni. Meredith Lee Giesler. Jason Daniel Ganadis. William Deegan Grenice. Laney Roberta Grant. 
Danielle Irene Gresham. Maggie Catherine Griffin. Katrina Marie Groom. Jessica Cameron Judici. Kiera Lee Hagen. Bastion Alice Hamilton. Ethan Jack Hancock. Philip Regan Harmon. Aiden Christian Harrington. Avery Lynn Hayes. Catherine Elizabeth Hazel. Brielle Ann Heron. Julissa May Hernandez. Caden Michael Richard Heslin. Liam Robert Hickey. Kelsey O'Brien Higgins. Jackson Thomas Lee Hom. April Ann Hooper. Paxton Lee Hubert. Ryan Andrew Hurwitz. Nicola Grace Ayantaska. Dina Omar Ejul. Noah Brendan Eiley. Tarag Aziz Iqbal. Caleb Oyakachi Iraboa. David Michael Izzo. Nora Pauline Jackson. Ava Janae Jobody. Mallory Olivia Johnson. Keegan David Jones. Nathan James Kearney. Finney Keith. Derek Joseph Cal. Audrey Maeve Kelly. Matthew Thomas Kelly. Ryan Kenneth Kelly. Caroline Alyssa Kenyon. Grant Brian Kinney. Owen Paul Kiss. Lauren Elizabeth Klein. This is the first half of the class of 2023. Let's give them a big round of applause. Owen Michael Klobuchar. Caitlin Sharon Knight. Justin Michael Kosh. Thomas Christopher James Late. Ava Kathleen Lanza. Julia Hope Lanza. William Joseph LaPlante. Grace Elizabeth Lawler. Anthony James Lawson. Christy Elaine Levitt. James Patrick Leonard. Amelia Gloria Lerner. Elizabeth Lewis. Precious Gabrielle Javier Laga. Sean Michael Lucente. Alexander Silva Luna. Nicholas Silva Luna. John James Luskin. Caden James Lynch. 
Abigail Grace Lyons. Azela Alicia Mack. Caitlin Elizabeth McKay. Owen Michael McKenzie. Jacqueline Susan Macrina. Marcello Salvatore Madrazo. Sydney Grace Marlin. Thomas Anthony Matarano. Zachary Luke Mata. Jake Michael Mazur. Ryan Michael McGill. Jack Michael McKenna. Aiden John McLaughlin. John Thomas Meter. Carson John Meyer. Connor Matthew Mello. Flannery Keaton Toro Miller. Juliet Joy Modina. Abdisalam A.H. Mohammed. Dylan James Morrison. Margaret Rose Murphy. Michael Joseph Murphy. Mohammed Jaffa Muwafak. Bridget Sarah Nally. Luke Robert Nixon. Logan Matthew Noiso. Brooke Alice Noonan. Julia O'Donnell. Grace, Olivia Grace O'Neill. Aiden Richard O'Neill. Ian Padraig O'Neill. Kevin Ryan O'Neill. Connor O'Reilly. Andrew Segalia Obera. Delara Oner. Chantal Oner. Spencer Orzel. Evan Sung Ossinger. Kendall Joan Parker. Devin J. Patel. Haven Palaji. Gerald James Pendergast. Declan Robert Pepper. Victoria Ashley Petrilio. Meredith Suzanne Pfeiffer. Ella Louise Pisani. Lena Lucia Pizzi. Vanessa Marie Plunkett. Eva Kathleen Potts. Katerina Elizabeth Precob. Ava Rose Quinlan. Catherine Ann Quinn. Richard Nikolai Rand. Matthew David Rando. Charlotte Elizabeth Raymond. Haley Marie Rita. 
Ember Redlitz. Haley Madison Reynolds. Priya Kaur Riar. Violet Alosha Rizzo. Nathan Etienne Roshan. Gabriela Michelle Rodriguez. Mariah Mari Rodriguez. Leah Joan Santoro. Caroline Ingrid Sawyer. Emily Christine Sawyer. Brendan Fox Sensai. Andrew William Seropian. Christopher Jabby Leone Oluwafemi Sise. Samantha Lily Shore. Kayla Marie Simus. Samantha Paige Simeone. Benjamin Joseph Simons. Christian Mobolaji Sobande. Vivian Victoria Squitteri. Luke Thomas Staley. Alexander Frederick Stock. Danielle Ann Strakowski. Emma Jean Sullivan. Gianna Grace Sullivan. Olivia Morgan Suro. Samantha Lee Sweetman. Nathan Michael Sylvan. Sydney Marie Tardinico. Ava Catherine Teague. Molly Jane Barrett. Matthew Rayner Thompson. Evan James Trujillo. James Richard Vinson. Alexander Henry Viscusi. Gregory David Walker. Libby Walsh. Benjamin Stephen Watson. Isabel Rose Watson. Isla Rose Weiblin. Elizabeth Jade White. Samara Grace White. Dylan Paul Woods. Julia Catherine Zimmerman. Matthew William Zimmerman. Samantha Suzanne Zolak. Families and friends, the class of 2023.
Thank you, Mr. Lewis, Ms. Poirier, and Mr. Abrams for assisting with the presentation of the diplomas. So at this time, I would just like to take a moment to recognize and thank our superintendent, Mr. Zinni, for leading our district over the past five years. We've all grown under your leadership. Thank you, Mr. Zinni. Well, class of 2023, as you prepare for your adventure beyond the walls of King Philip Regional High School, I would like to leave you with some parting words from someone who really holds a near and dear place in my heart, the late, great Tina Turner. Oh yeah. Tina once said, my legacy is that I stayed on course from the beginning to the end because I believed in something inside of me. Members of the class of 2023, you can do anything and you can be anything. Just maintain that unwavering belief in yourself. Tina also said, I believe that if you'll just stand up and go, life will open up for you. Class of 2023, never wait for someone to offer you an opportunity. Stand up, go get it. Never turn away from an opportunity. Dig deep to find the courage and stand up and go get it. You've been given all the skills you need to create a full, innovative, exciting and enjoying life. So now, stand up, go make life open up for you. It works, stand up, give yourselves a round of applause. You deserve it. You have been an absolutely amazing, amazing class. I think of you as my unwavering class. You've been true and steady throughout everything that you've done here at KP. You've been quietly supporting each other and getting each other there. Ending my career with you is really the top of the iceberg. Thank you for everything you've done for KP and congratulations, class of 2023. You may now sit down. So as principal of the King Philip Regional High School, I declare that the commencement exercises for the class of 2023 is closed, but we have one more ceremonial task to do together. After this brief ceremonial task, our King Philip Regional High School band will play the recessional and you and your families can meet in the complex or you may exit through any of the exits. So one last time, class of 2023, please stand. Just giving you a little exercise. Okay, hands on your tassels. As you move your tassel, it signifies that you are no longer a student, but a KP alum. So class of 2023, please move your tassels. Congratulations.